for this episode of the summer shredding what we're gonna do in this one is focus a little bit more on the foods i'm eating like just scattered out throughout the, the next week and a half simply because i know on my polls on instagram a lot of people still said that they are really not sure what to eat to see progress I wasn't even gonna talk, but I thought I might as well. So what I'm doing right now is you've seen me with the chicken pieces, I've just took off all the skin, simply because the calories in the skin is a lot. And to be completely honest, chicken tastes good without it. I mean, it tastes better with the skin, ain't gone bullshit, but it's not necessary. As long as you season it up nice and flavorsome, you don't need the skin. But yeah, I'm just gonna have that with some corn. Why is good people? As you've seen, we are making a nice high protein meal here. So this is gonna be like a high protein just sandwich that you can have at home or Subway, probably more of a Subway vibe. Uh, using the brown sliced breads you get from Asda. These are not low calorie, but they taste delicious. So just like you would when you go Subway, you can then choose to have the full Subway or have half of it. As you can see, it's pretty filled up. We've got bacon there, we've got cheese, we've got the lettuce, and also we have obviously the beef strips, which was the main thing. So really, it comes up to you. I personally have this when I'm really hungry. So if I was cut it in half, or you can do what Subway do, wrap it in something. Um, you may see other people, if to make it easier, they'll wrap the whole sandwich in foil because it just helps it kind of stay warm and also if you're gonna take it to work or something, just is often better than just putting it in a sandwich box. So here is it right now, a filling sandwich. Obviously these are the steak pieces that can't fit in, so I'll just eat those on the side rather than using another sandwich to have two of them. As I said, this isn't low calorie, but it is high protein. I'd probably recommend if you're gonna eat the full thing for someone that's probably bulking, um, I wouldn't really say this would be a regular thing I would eat. So for the full sandwich, we're looking at 823 calories, which is quite a lot as you can imagine. But if you add half of it, around 410 calories, isn't that bad? I'm gonna destroy this right now because I am starving. But what I will do is come back to you and show you guys the next high protein meal I have. Folks, we are back in the kitchen again. Quick meal. We are going with king prawns, egg egg whites, <laughs> egg noodles. Each pack of these is roughly 200 calories and nine grams of protein. We are also adding in some mushrooms. Another thing that would have been good is if I had like a mixed veg, but I don't have any left in the fridge. I don't think. Actually, I might add in some spring onion chopped up just for extra taste. But that's about it. Quick and simple prawns, especially when they're already cooked. Very quick to make. You ain't got to spend no long time. The only thing you have to do is check in if the prawn has the little shit line in it. So obviously, if it has the, the dark line in the prawn, and take him out. Now this meal should only take roughly 15 minutes to make max. I am thoroughly happy. These are some decent sized prawns. Like, these are fairly thick. That is not, that's not a bad sized prawn. And as you can see, that fills out quite a lot. I'm gonna eat all of this now. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next meal.
All right, peeps, today what we're doing is instead of these smooth I've been showing you guys, we're actually gonna have a protein smoothie, not the, just the greens one I've been having. Uh, we're gonna go with almond milk. You know what? Get a little bit of uh, semi skin milk. I'll do filly fillies to make it taste a little bit better. I'm gonna put some powdered peanut butter in there. For those of you that like the taste of peanut butter, I highly recommend going for the powdered over like, you know, typical peanut butter. Basically all they do is reduce most of the fat and keep the protein so it's higher. So per portion you have way more protein and way less fat. But some people eat regular peanut butter as if it's protein and it's not, it's, it's a fat source. Even though it has protein in it, it's mainly a fat source. You should never think of regular peanut butter as I need to get my protein in. Oh, about six strawberries that'll do. Can't lie, I haven't made like a protein smoothie in years. I, these used to be my go-to. I used to have protein smoothies quite a lot. I used to really get addicted to the taste of them. Because they do taste pretty good. Oh, thankfully, I've still got some frozen banana in here since the last time. This is why it's good to prep. <laughs> I literally almost forgot the most important ingredient, the whey protein. So dumb. <laughs> have a protein smoothie out of the way protein. What flavor I'm gonna go for is the vanilla. I could go with the cereal milk, but if I'm being completely honest, the cereal milk I think will be a little bit too sweet. Vanilla is always my go-to base protein because it, it can be used in so many things without being overpowering. And if I'm buying in bulk, I like a protein that's not too strong. Otherwise, you get sick of the flavor. So yeah, scoop and a half of that one. And what I'm also gonna do is add in some of these my protein drops. Can't even lie, if you look at this, you may realize the branding's old. I bought this years ago, and it says it went out of date in 2018. Well, I can't lie, I still use it. I've not even looked like it's kind of funny to me. So hopefully, this tastes okay. I have a feeling I may have put a little bit too much banana in it. This is what it looks like here. As you can see, it's a pretty thick consistency. It actually made more than I thought. But if I show you sidewood, it's really thick. Yeah, it's damn near ice cream. You can see how thick it is. Boom. The moment of truth. So it actually tastes nice. I'll, I'll tell you if it sucks. I like it. It doesn't taste as good as the one I made back in the day. But considering this is my first attempt, I didn't look back at my video to see exactly what recipe I used. It's a very good attempt. Uh, what I always do when I make a uh, protein smoothie like this, that more milky, to make sure it doesn't melt too quick. Because if you're holding it, the hand, the warmth in your hand often melts the bottom and it ends up getting a bit too watery. What you need to do to combat that is just like put like one or two ice cubes in there and just push them to the bottom and that will basically combat your hand kind of melting the bottom of it. This has got at least 30 grams of protein in it. But I need to probably do this more just to make sure my protein intake is higher because I've been estimating my protein and I'm pretty sure I've only been hitting probably about 120 grams and I want to get it past that 140, 150 mark on average. So every other day, I'm gonna definitely have one of these on the days I don't have cod. Anyways, I'll see you guys for the next one. Today I decided to go for an old school meal I ain't done in a minute, which is an omelet. So it's a high protein omelet, but there's two whole eggs, egg whites, four slices of bacon and spring onion. But yeah, so very quick and easy. Oh, and a tiny bit of cheese inside as well. So yeah, very simple, very quick. The reason why I chose this was simply because it was so, Quick and simple to make. I had eggs, I had spring onions, and I had bacon, and that was more or less all I had because my girlfriend has actually gone food shopping, so I just made use of whatever I had left. So now I'll see you guys on another day. Quick one here, guys. It's gonna be transparent. I need to eat these cod today, it's the last day it can be cooked. It's pretty late. It is half 11, and yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I don't even want it right now just because I don't feel up a card, but it's the last day I can have it, I'm not wasting it, it costs too much. And I need to get protein in, so I would have probably have just had a protein smoothie, I'm not gonna lie, I don't feel like eating, but I'm just gonna have the card, nothing with it, literally just two fillets of card. It is what it is, that's what I'm having. So yeah, I'm just showing you, literally this is, I wouldn't call it a meal, this is a protein boost, I'll call it that, it's not a meal, this is literally just two fillets, even though it's quite filling, I'm not gonna lie, because I normally have the two fillets, and I may have like the two, one of the cards with it, but to be pretty honest, I am not even hungry. The only reason I'm making it is because it goes off, this could last one more day, confidently, I will just leave it till tomorrow, but I'm just gonna eat it, so whack it on the frying pan, and just uh, carry on, but yeah, I'll show you guys a more interesting meal in the next clip. Right, folks, I just came in the gym and I'm basically about to have my meal. I wasn't even going to film it, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to show it. Even though I have shown it in other videos, I want it in this one because it's about high protein meals that I often eat as a go-to. 
And what I'm about to have, which I often have after the gym, is my protein cereal one. So all I do is for the milk, I use around 200 to 300 milliliters of almond milk. And then I add in some of the whey protein. I always go with cereal milk for my protein because in cereal, it tastes better than the vanilla. Just under a scoop, I don't like too much because it comes more like a smoothie. I want my cereal still to feel like milk. And basically all I do is make a protein shake and then my cereal in the bowl, I always go with all bran and usually top it up with some sort of granola. For the all bran, it's literally about 30 to 40 grams. If you can get to 40, that's nice. And then for this, not a lot. And simply right there, that'll be like roughly around 25 to 30 grams of protein, depending on how much you use. I think the calories off my head was roughly around 250 calories in the end, depending on what milk you use. So as you've seen, that is very basic. It's a very simple meal, especially if you're someone that eats cereal quite a lot. The key thing to highlight as well is all brand, Kellogg brand is the one that I recommend. It tastes the best in regards to all brand. The non, the non branded ones taste like bricks. So if you're someone that's really fussy eater, you can probably make this work. I'm a fussy eater and this tastes all right. Next up, if you can't go with all brand, go with Kellogg's brand, Brand Flakes. This one has less fiber than all brand, but it's probably easier for people to kind of get adjusted to. I used to have this for years. I used to, as a kid, I used to hate it. But then as an adult, I actually realized it doesn't actually taste that bad. It was more just the, the look of it looks like crap. It doesn't look as good as frosty. And the reason I recommend these is just because a lot of us out there don't eat crazy amount of vegetables, even though we should. <laughs> and this is going to help you with your fiber intake. So I would have you say like on a, I mean two times a week or three times a week. So if you're fairly regular, two times a week is probably enough. But if you're someone that doesn't go to the bathroom often, three times a week is decent. So like a Monday, Wednesday, and like a Saturday, that'll make sure you keep consistently emptying the waste in your stomach and that'll help you have a flatter tummy. Um, I think I summarized everything there is to do with that, but that's basically the gist. Um, it definitely helps your body get things moving. Anyways, I'll see you guys for the next actual meal. Guys, good peeps. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I met with my boy for the first time in God knows how long we went for pizza and made a quick little pizza. Technically it's high protein, but it's also obviously high fat, but I'm gonna include it in this video because this is technically a part of my week of what I ate. With that being said, let me know, what are you team pizza or team Domino's or team Papa John's? All right, folks, we meet again. So it's currently 2 p.m. Had an apple and now what I'm gonna do is make some turkey mints. Later on today, I'm having beef mints, leanish. Okay, so I'm gonna have two whole eggs with some egg whites with these turkey mints. Uh, that's basically how I dictate how I'm gonna eat for the day. For example, if I knew I was gonna have something like salmon later on today, because it's higher in fat, then I wouldn't have two whole eggs. I would probably have one or just egg whites. I'm changing my mind. I'm not gonna do two whole eggs because, in honesty, that is quite. Like, every time I add mushrooms to a meal, it does kind of really bulk it out. So for those of you that always worry about not feeling, eat mushrooms. They will bulk out your meal. All right, folks, and that is it. Very, very simple. I will say it's a very ugly meal, <laughs> but it tastes all right. So you've got eggs, egg whites, turkey mints, and mushrooms. They're very, very filling portions. Uh, if I had a wrap, I probably would have wrapped it in one of those, had the rest on the side, but I don't. So I'm just literally gonna probably dish out three quarters of this, put it into a bowl, and just eat it. All right, people, as of right now, I'm actually, if you've seen this video here, actually, you should be somewhat updated on the situation, what's going on on my end in regards to the summer shredding videos. If not, go check it out. But as of right now, we're technically one pound heavier, which is 160, no, 181 pounds. But look on the pictures and the video for it. I actually look better than I did in the last summer shredding video. Um, let me know if you agree, but I, I feel like I do. I look a little bit leaner. Um, even though I'm heavier. I did say in the last one, I do think I felt bloated in the video, mainly due to the hot weather. But yeah, uh, that's what I'm looking like right now. I'm looking forward to carrying on. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, people. Deuces.